There were 800 people in the protest march last night, and many of them not only witnessed the violence, they recorded it. Here's Manuel Bajorquez. Almost as soon as the first shots were fired, this right here. witnesses started sharing video of the attack on social media. Don't worry, I'm behind a, I'm behind a tree. Uh, it was a barrage of bullets in the beginning. When it first started, maybe five shots and then rapid fire. This was freelance photographer Michael Bautista. He says he streamed the video at first to let his family know he was okay, and then to let the public know to stay away. There's an officer down. I was literally maybe 20 yards away, 30 yards away. Close enough to see an officer go down. Yes. Close enough to see the ricochets of bullets hitting off of glass and metal. Dozens were caught in the crossfire. Police officers started shooting in one direction, and whoever was shooting started shooting back. And that's where the war began. The police are shooting right across the street. Protesters hid inside a nearby McDonald's. Brandon Jackson live streamed this video on Facebook. Everyone in the McDonald's, we all were frantic and we started running. Everybody started running towards the back when we were hearing the gunshots. Workers barricaded the doors with trash cans. Jackson's friend, Brenda Randall, was also there. They hid in a bathroom. The thought on everyone's mind once we got back there, we're like, we anyone can come in. We and have, we, there's nowhere to go. Despite numerous videos of the attack on social media, Scott, tonight police are still asking anyone with additional photographs or videos of the ambush to turn them over as they could still yield new clues. Manuel Bohorkas for us this evening. Manuel, well done. Thank you.